Today I'm going to show you how to turn this cardboard box into this. Let's make a mask. So if you are new to this channel, I'm Rafael and here I do tutorial videos where I show you how to make amazing props from your favorite movies and TV shows using templates and cardboard. Also, don't forget to check out the description box below as you'll find there all tools and products that I use in this tutorial. Now let's dive right into the video. First thing first, head down to the description below and grab those templates from my shop. Once you've got them, separate them out and stick them on your cardboard. Now grab your precision knife, a box cutter or some very sharp scissors and start cutting out those pieces. Remember you'll be doing this for all the pieces in this tutorial. Start with piece number one, cut it out, then crush those corrugations to make it easier to shape. Glue those touches together, I'm using a cheap 15 watt rugby gun that I bought from Amazon. You should end up with a piece that looks like this. And repeat the same process for the pieces number 2 to 10. Now bend the edge of the piece number 1 here a little bit more to get the right shape. And glue pieces number 1 and 2 together along this edge. Glue the piece number 3 here and glue the pieces number 4 to 10 following the number order the same way I'm doing here. Moving out, cut out piece number 11, crush those corrugations and glue it inside the eye socket at the top at an angle. Do the same for piece number 12, underneath. Now, using the reverse template, make the reverse side of the mask, glue both sides together along the middle edges. Next up, cut out piece number 13, crush those corrugations, close the notches and glue it in the middle to make the nose. If the opening seems too narrow for your head, no worries, just trim a few centimeters from the sides and back until it fits comfortably. Also, don't forget that these templates are life-sized, so to ensure a perfect fit for your mask, simply print the templates at a scale that matches your head dimensions. You can find more information on scaling within the templates folder. Now, let's smooth out any imperfections with a filler. Mix one part baby talk or cornstarch, two parts wet glue, and two parts acrylic paint and add water until you get the right consistency. Alternatively, you can use a pre-made filler like Liquitex, which I've linked in the description box below. Apply the filler evenly with a brush, adding drops of water to make it easier. Then sand all surfaces with a medium grit sandpaper to make the mask really smooth. Once again, add drops of water. This will slightly soften the filler, making the sanding process much easier. Now, at this stage, you can decide if you want to paint your mask. In this tutorial, I'm going to use paper because I really like the cardboard look. But if you prefer painting, I suggest checking out my Bokaton helmet tutorial. I've linked it here somewhere in the car or in the description box below. In that video, I show you how to paint this type of mask using basic acrylic paint. Now let's add some texture. Tear up pieces of a brown paper, the same kind you get with your Amazon deliveries, for instance. them in a mix of white glue and water and apply them to the entire mask. Next, with a pencil and the reference picture that you'll find in the templates folder, color the black parts of the mask. You can also use your fingers to spread out the pencil marks for a smoother look. Now, 
Next, take another piece of brown paper and cut out a rectangle. Roll it tightly with your fingers, dip it into the same glue and water mix, and then allow it to dry. Make several the same way and glue them on the edges of the darkened areas. Next, use a pencil to darken additional walls and glue them underneath the ones you already glued onto the mask. Afterwards, glue two more walls on the sides over here and on the shin right here, and then repeat the same on the other side. You might notice a gap inside the mask above your head. To fix this, cut thick squares of cardboard and glue them together inside the helmet until the gap is filled. I found that using just two layers of a thick cardboard worked pretty well for me. But depending on the size of your head and the type of cardboard you are using, you may need a little bit more layers to fill that gap or maybe less. Next, cut small squares from a cheap white mosquito net and glue them inside the mask on the eye socket. If you feel like one layer is too see-through, just add more layers until you get the right balance between being able to see and how it looks. For me, it was five layers, but it really depends on the type of mosquito net you are using. I'll link the one I used in this tutorial in the description box below. And apply two layers of glossy varnish to make it shiny and sustainable for years to go. You are now in the presence of a... And there you have it, a very cool Deadpool mask that you made entirely from cardboard. Well, mostly from cardboard. Now click this video right here if you want to see another man brewing cardboard build, Google thinks you'll like it, subscribe if you are not already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next epic build with cardboard. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.